A gallery opens in the West End aiming to be a new museum of theatre. We take a look at its first exhibition all about Panto all the details on our website uh, now it's part of british culture especially around christmas time here is a visual clue aladdin himself yes the panto a family friendly show nearly always based on well-known children's stories with audience participation of course a key part of it oh yes it is i had to do that didn't i now a new immersive show at the heart of the west end traces the history of pantomime across three centuries wendy harrell there's been to take a look the Imaginarium Gallery is a secret space below street level off Drury Lane. This is its inaugural exhibition. This is supposed to turn into a museum of theatre, an immersive history of theatre in London. So history of Panto was a good place to start. It, uh, I mean, it evolved uh, from Commedia della Arte in, uh, in Italy and became what we would consider Panto in the 18th century. and evolved into this massive spectacle with uh, plays sometimes lasting five hours with hundreds and hundreds of people in the 19th century uh, and it's still going. Tell me about the room we enter through. Well, these are paper puppet theatre animations based on the movement of children playing with um, cut out paper puppets. They were sold outside of Pantos as a kind of merchandising and I thought it would be fun to sort of imitate that uh, sense of children playing as part of the Panto exhibit. There are five rooms, this one revealing Panto traditions. Well, of course, the uh, Good Fairy and Bad Fairy are traditional Panto characters. The good Fairy always enters from the right, the Bad from the left, and that's actually believed to go back to the Middle Ages with uh, mystery players where right is heaven and left is hell. And there's a tradition about not playing the whole panto in rehearsal. Oh no, you never rehearse the entire panto. No, no, you leave the last two lines out and the first time the whole panto is done is opening night. It's bad luck otherwise. Well, that's a familiar face, quite unexpected. Yes, it's the late queen. And uh, as a young girl, she uh, performed as Aladdin with uh, Princess Margaret as lead girl. Elsewhere, other famous names, Dick Whittington, an actual real life person, you know. In fact, they, uh, they even uh, published a biography of him and uh, it didn't sell a single copy because the illustration on the front didn't have Dick Whittington with a cat. So they had to go take all of the books, insert uh, a new illustration so Dick Whittington had his cat. On until the 18th, this exhibition is a potted history of an art form 300 years old, so significant to this country's heritage, it may soon be formally recognised by UNESCO and protected for centuries to come. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London.